Hey guys, so this is just a short flow with a magic circle just to get you moving, just to get those muscles waking up and ready for the day or to go to sleep, however you want to do this. So if you have a magic circle, go ahead and grab it. We're going to start sitting. I'm sitting on my mat. You can always sit um, in a chair or on an ottoman couch. We'll end up down on the ground so I do recommend having a mat or just something cushy that you can sit on or have weight on. So you're going to take your magic circle in both hands holding on the squishy sides and I'm rounding my elbows like a ballet first position in front of my sternum and from here we're just going to press in on that circle eight times. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now you're going to take it to a fifth position and you want to make sure that your arms are still in front of your face. You don't want to take them back over your head so that the shoulders can stay pressed down away from the ears. So I'll go for an eight here for eight, seven. If this bothers your shoulders, take it lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take it to the side of our hip. So you find the top of your hip and then take it down just slightly. There's that little crease there. And then you're gonna take the palm of your hand to the other side and my elbow's still just slightly rounded. Shoulders pressed away from my ears and I'm just gonna press in for some A deduction for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then I'm going to take it to the other side pressing in for eight seven six five four three abs engaged two one so they're engaged the whole time that we do all of this from here just leave it on the side we're taking our arm out to the side slightly in front of your shoulder so rest in front of your shoulder and my elbow is bent here just to be nice to the arm Making sure that you're sitting up nice and tall on your sits bones. Reach your other arm out to the side. We're going to take it into a mermaid. So take an inhale as you reach the arm up. Exhale as you reach up and over. Keep the shoulders down. Press down on that magic circle. Inhale as you come up and then exhale the arm opens. Keeping weight equal on those sits bones. Up. Exhale as you come up and over. Inhale as you come up. Exhale the arm opens. Inhale up, exhale as you come over, inhale up, exhale the arm opens. Now in this last one, we inhale up, exhale as you come up and over, and then rotate towards that magic circle. Take both hands down. If you need to, pull in just a little bit closer. Both hip bones are still down. I'm going to press down on that ring for three, two, one, release, three, two, one, release, scooping that belly up and in. Three, two, one, release. I rotate back to face front, and then exhale as I come up and over. I'm gonna take my ring to the other side, same thing on the other side, so wrist in front of your shoulder, arm is bent, inhale as you reach up, exhale as you come over, inhale as you reach up, exhale as the arm opens. Three sets, just like this. Third set. Now in this set, we rotate towards that circle. Inhale up. Exhale as you come up and over. Rotate, pull it in if you need to. Three presses down for three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Last set. Three, two, one, release. We rotate. Exhale as you come up. Now for this next exercise, you don't need your magic circle, so you can just place that out of the way. And you're going to take your legs apart just a little bit wider than your hips. And if you're facing the other way on your mat, there it's about as wide as your mat. I'm gently flexing my toes back towards my nose. If this feels really tight in your hamstrings and you have a pillow, you can stick a pillow underneath just to lift you up a little bit. It'll feel nicer on those hamstrings. They can have a little bend here. 
We're gonna reach our arms between our legs. Sitting up nice and tall like you're sitting against a wall. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, nod your chin towards your chest, slowly rolling it forward, one vertebra at a time. I walk my hands forward, getting a stretch through the spine. Inhale at the bottom, and then exhale, I slowly restack my spine up against that imaginary wall. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, nod it towards the chest. Exhale as you walk it forward. So you're thinking about creating length through the spine between each vertebra. Exhale as you come up. One more. Letting the weight of your head help with that stretch. And then exhale, we'll come all the way up. Now from here, you're gonna grab your circle. You wanna scoot towards the front of your mat and you can hold on to the circle or you can just place it off to your side to grab it later. We're gonna do a roll down here. So I'm sitting up nice and tall on my sits bones. My abs are engaged. My legs are hip distance apart, parallel. So about a fist and a half between my feet. I'm gonna take an inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm gonna round through my spine, tuck the tailbone, and I'm gonna slowly roll down just to the top of my hips. Inhale here, and then exhale as I come back up to seated. Inhale at the top, exhale. This time I'm gonna roll down just a little bit further. So about my rib cage, exhale as I roll up. And you can always grab onto the back of your legs to help with that. Last one, inhale here, exhale, curve it out, roll it all the way down. And now you can take your ring and place it in between your thighs, close to your knee, but you don't want it on your knee joint. My legs are gonna come further apart. If you have a smaller circle, it might be a little bit nicer. You can always take a pillow underneath your head. Now from here, you just wanna find a neutral pelvis and a neutral spine. So neutral spine just means that you have that natural curve under your lower back. And your neutral pelvis, you want to try to get your pubic bone and the two front parts of your hip bones level. So you're creating a triangle that's level here. Now from here, we're going to work on some pelvic floor engagement. So you want to think about the muscles that when you have to pee and you're trying to hold it, so I'm thinking about pulling those up and in, and then I release. And you can't see it, obviously. Pulling it up and in, and release. Now this next one, take an inhale, engage that pelvic floor, and squeeze your legs towards each other. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale, release, release that circle. Squeeze, and release. Now you can try this breath the other way, Sometimes the exhale, when you squeeze, helps you full engage that pelvic floor better. Now this time, think about keeping that pelvic floor engaged and let's squeeze the legs in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, now from here, legs are just relaxed, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing away from you. Take an inhale to prepare, and then as you exhale, nod your chin towards your chest, and we roll up our head, neck, and shoulders, pulling those abdominals in, gazing between our legs, inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll it down, so just a little chest lift. Inhale to prepare, exhale to move, inhale at the top, Exhale to roll it down. Making sure those shoulders stay away from our ears. One more time. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to move. Let's hold it up. We're going to inhale through our nose as we squeeze. Exhale, release. For three, two, one. Keep it squeezing. Inhale here and then exhale, roll it down and release the legs. Now you can keep the legs here, you can take them up to your tabletop position. In that tabletop position, you want your knees over your hips 
and then your toes, if your legs are pulled together, you'd be able to see them over your knees here. We're going to go into our hundreds, and again, you can always keep those legs down, and in this position, you can press that lower back down into the mat if this hurts your back at all. So I take an inhale to prepare, I'm going to squeeze the legs just a little bit, exhale as I curl my head, neck, and shoulders up, we inhale for five, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Always stretch the legs out if you want. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the knees in. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders down. You can get rid of that ring. Rock it side to side. Good. We're going to take our feet down. Hands are holding onto the ring. This time we're going to take our chest lift and we're going to add a little oblique twist. So take an inhale as I curl my head, neck, and shoulders up. And then as I exhale, I'm going to twist my torso over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Both feet are pointed down. And then you want your hips to be planted down. So don't let the opposite side lift as you take this twist. And keep breathing. One more to each side. Back through center. Exhale, release it down. Now for this next one, we're gonna go into bridge and you can use that circle again between your legs here. If it feels like too much, you can always opt into using a pillow between your legs. I have the big ones. I'm actually going to fold it in half and that's what I'm going to do because it's a little bit nicer than my ring. Then I'm going to roll it back down. So my legs are about hip distance apart parallel. I'm squeezing it on my pillow or your circle. Press your arms down by your side and if this bothers your lower back to articulate through your spine, you're just going to hinge your hips straight up and ignore what I'm about to say. Inhale as you prepare, and then as you exhale, tilt your pubic bone up, press your waist down into your mat, and slowly roll it up one vertebra at a time. You're squeezing your backside, elongating your front side, knee to shoulders in one straight line. Inhale here, and then exhale as you roll it down. Really thinking about that space between your vertebra. If you'd like to add arms, you can always bend at the elbows, make it a little bit more of a stability challenge. You can even reach them up towards the ceiling. Squeezing those glutes, pulling that pelvic floor up and in. Let's do one more. And then stay up once you're up and press in on that pillow or that circle for five, four, three, two, one, and then roll it all the way down. Good. I'm going to get rid of my pillow now. I'm going to take my magic circle. I'm going to thread my legs through to right on my thighs above my knees. Again, not on the joint. And then take my feet back down. This time we're definitely going to hinge here as we take our bridge. So we take an inhale to prepare and I'm pressing up just slightly on my circle. Exhale, I hinge my hips up towards the ceiling. From here, I'm just going to do a little press out on my circle, touch the tailbone down, lift it up, touch and lift for five, four, three, collarbones are wide, two, last one, little pulses up and down just an inch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then exhale, I'm going to roll it all the way down. I'm going to take it into a little hamstring stretch. So I take my foot to the one side of the padded, my hands to the other, and I have it on the ball of my foot. 
so that I can point and flex through my ankle. Make it a little bit more of an active stretch. And then I'm going to switch it off to the other side. Whoa. It's a hairball on <laughs> my sock. And pointing and flexing with the other leg. From here, you're gonna to wanna to come up and you're gonna take your bottom leg. So I have my heel, part of my ankle on top of the bottom part of my circle, pressing it down into the floor towards the front corner of my mat. And then I'm gonna to come to lay down. And you can lay down all the way. You can be up on your forearm if you like. This knee is bent for me. I'm gonna take my other leg Parallel, hips are stacked, right on top of the circle. I'm just gonna do some presses here. So inhale, press, exhale, lift. Now it's the tricky part. I'm gonna lengthen that leg out. And I'm holding my circle now with that top leg really planting this arm down in front of me. I'm gonna lift that bottom leg up towards the top leg for five, four, three, two, one. Place that bottom leg down, holding the circle. And then I'm gonna lift that top leg just slightly. I'm gonna take a sweep forward and back. So I inhale, flex forward. Exhale, I sweep it back. Keeping those hips stacked. Engaging that glute as it sweeps back. Finding that center position here. Let's take the leg down. We're gonna come up and we're gonna switch it to the other side. So towards the front corner of your mat. Bottom leg right at the heel and ankles right there. Top leg just comes right on top. Leg is parallel. Knee and toes are pointing straight forward. Hips are stacked. And take an inhale, press. Exhale, lift. Abs are still engaged. Go for two more. I'm gonna lengthen out that bottom leg. I'm holding the ring now with my top leg. And I inhale, lift. Exhale, lower for five, four, three, two, one. Take that bottom leg down, holding that ring. And then I lift the top leg. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, sweep it forward. Exhale, sweep it back. Two more. Keeping those hips back. Abs engaged, shoulders are away from our ears. Last one. Good, and then we're gonna come up and we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. So you can put the ring aside if you'd like to, or you can add the ring and give it a little bit more of a balance challenge. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees, and I'm gonna take the ring in my right hand. I'm gonna have my knees right underneath my hips, and I'm gonna take my left wrist right underneath my shoulder. Now my right arm is gonna come slightly forward. And I'm pressing down onto that ring. My elbow is bent, so my elbow is closer to being underneath my shoulder. Now from here, I'm going to reach my left leg back behind me, pressing down on that ring. I lift the leg, keeping that parallel position here, and I just find my balance. That little press here adds a little bit more of that instability. If you want to, you can always take the ring out further. 
so it might not be as nice on the joints, which is why I like to hold it in. Now from here, let's bend the knee, flex the foot, and let's pulse that leg up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. Take that circle of leg, reach the arm up, find the balance now. Still parallel, still engaging those abs. And now you're going to exhale, be pulled the elbow into your knee, round through the back, and then inhale, stretch it out, just four. Two. Last one. Touch down, pull it in, relax those wrists for a second, and we'll switch it up to the other side. So now I have it underneath my left hand. Elbows are underneath my shoulder, knees are right underneath my hip. I'm going to reach my right leg back now. Pressing down on that ring, I lift my leg. Finding that balance. Squaring with my hips and shoulders. We'll flex the foot, bend the knee. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen the leg out. Take the circle down. Reach that arm out long. And then just find your balance here for a second. Oops. <laughs> really squared up. Abs engaged. And then exhale. Be pull it in. Elbow to knee. Inhale. Stretch it out for four, three, two. Last one. Touch it down, pull it in, shake it out. All right, one last thing, two, sorry, two more things. So we're going to start with our plank. So I'm going to take that circle and get it out of my way. You have a couple options for your plank. You can be on your wrists or your forearms. You can tuck your toes underneath and then just hover the knees slightly. You're going to feel those abs kick in, but it's sometimes a little bit nicer than taking that long lever position. Or you can take your full plank or even take that girly push-up plank position. I like to lift my feet and just find this here. Whatever plank you're taking, let's go there now. We're going to hold it for about 15 seconds. Here we go. It's a weird position to watch the time. Make sure those abs are engaged if you're in your full plank. Tuck the tailbone a little bit. Don't collapse into those arms. Abs are engaged. Last five, four, three, two, one. Take one knee down, then the other. Knees apart. Let's take it into our child's pose. And now we're going to come down onto our bellies. Last thing, take your legs about hip distance apart or as wide as your mat. Laterally rotate them. Take your arms, your hands, sorry, to either side of your face, about as wide as your shoulders. Lay your fingers wide. Press your pubic bone down into the mat. Forehead is towards the mat, but not resting down on it. Squeeze the glutes. Pull the belly up and away. Take an inhale, press into your hands, and take a slight extension forward. Not dumping into your lower back, take your shoulders together and back down toward your back pockets. And then exhale, relax. Let's do two more. Inhale to prepare, exhale, come up. Inhale at your top, exhale down. Last one. Now if you want to, test yourself here. Float the hands off of your mat. You want to take it a little further, reach the arms out, and then bend them in. Just for three, for two, for one. Take the hands down, tuck your toes underneath, and let's press it back into that child's pose one more time. So thank you for joining for me for that short little just warm up for the day, nothing fancy. 
Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.